India is countering China's provocation in eastern Ladakh. There is a debate which has erupted over the latest satellite pictures that are doing the rounds. Now, experts are divided over the real status of Patrol Point 14. Some believe one faction calls uh, the uh, the visuals that we are playing out for you at this point in time as Indian tents. Other faction believes that this is Chinese intrusion. One group believes that the Chinese are back and this time around with a huge deployment, a huge deployment of men, armored vehicles, artillery, guns, heavy weaponry basically. The other faction says that this indicates the latest pictures, the latest satellite images indicates how India and Indian forces have pushed back Chinese uh, almost five kilometers. That is what the debate is all about on the latest pictures that we've accessed. Then there are reports also coming in that the Chinese have opened a new front in Depsang. Let's go across to uh, Pranesh who's joining us with more details. In fact, I believe Pranesh will explain to us on the map what uh, you know the latest uh, situation at PP14 is. We also have our executive editor Vivek Naren. We'll go across to him as well. Well, but first to Pranesh. Right, Swati, over the last few days, uh, we've seen uh, different sets of pictures, satellite imagery, and uh, there are multiple views on it. What we've done is to simplify what the controversy is, sample some of the tweets. Now, this Twitter handle is a known one. This is uh, an expert of satellite imagery. He says, Images via Maxer of the Galwan Valley face-off point on 22nd June show possible defensive positions being set up by China. Small walls, trench type areas have now appeared on site. He is referring to this image here, Swati. This is China, this is uh, the claim line and on this side is India. Now, the other assessment is this by Nathan Ruzer. He says, satellite imagery from the Dalwan Valley on June 22nd shows that disengagement really isn't the word that the government should be using. This image, the GIF, shows small outposts that sparked the June 15th clashes. It has grown hugely in size. So he would have us believe that the Chinese uh, occupation there, so to say, or the Chinese build-up is uh, perhaps the right term to use has increased ever since that violent standoff on uh, 15. He says Indian troops aren't dismantling this one and then he's used this image. So what you see is from uh, pre-June 15 and there's another one that shows pink tentages and according to Nathan Rutzer, these are Chinese build-up. But an Indian expert, Nitin Gokhale, has put out his own view. He says, the claims made by these experts are not perhaps correct. What you see in that area are actually Indian tents. So this picture puts this in perspective. I'm using the picture used by, uh, tweeted by their Tresfa, the Twitter handle, but uh, I'm just trying to tell our viewers what Nithin Gokhale uh, has said. And he's also put out a YouTube video, parts of which we will uh, uh, put out on our channel. He's also joining us on Times now around 2.30 this afternoon, Swati. So this is China. This is the claim line. What you see here, according to Mr. Gokhale, are Indian posts because this is the claim line. According to other experts, this is Chinese build-up. And the area here, here you have India written. This is the Galwan uh, uh, area. He says even these are Indian positions troop build up very very clear in this sat imagery now we are no experts so we are nobody to judge that's the claim versus claim controversy raging right let's also go across to vivek narayan vivek uh, the pictures are the same but there are multiple versions of how the experts have assessed the situation on ground and we are yet to of course hear officially from uh, either you know the indian government and the chinese government and what the position at this point in time is there are talks going on talks of disengagement that have ended on positive note but i'm sure that our forces on ground are vigil extremely of uh, these uh, deployments from the Chinese side and an adequate uh, strength uh, on the Indian side is being witnessed as well. The satellite pictures, Swati, that you've been watching are all commercial satellites which have been uh, received by uh, what you call freelance experts, uh, cartographers and uh, satellite imagery experts. But that's one side. The other is what the government thinks. Both China and Indian government has uh, access to extremely sharp satellite imagery. Apart from what they hear, 
ground they also have satellite images with them india for example uh, has has a quadrant of uh, of spy satellites the risat uh, the four risats which are already the last was launched just about 6 months back so they are fully operational they are all zoomed into uh, location that we are speaking about and those pictures are one meter sharp so they they know what's happening the reality is known to both the sides and they are quite transparent about it and that's what we hear yesterday whole of yesterday and today we are hearing of this deaction and uh, cooling off on both sides uh, yes there is lack of trust that the chinese are saying and doing well that's perhaps even vice versa uh, because they have done it before uh, even 9 uh, days before the 15th clashes there was a uh, Uh, there was a fair sign between indian and chinese um, commanding officers saying that we will be de- there will be de escalation but we know what led after that on 15th but now again two days back after a 11 hour marathon session between the two commanders it has been decided that there will be a gradual pull back well that is being observed but it is being done at an extremely slow pace um meanwhile here in leh we can as i told you all through the past one week uh, the airplanes of the indian air force are uh, keeping up their aggressive patrolling uh, and uh, the and and in the front we are hearing that we do have enough uh, artillery and uh, other forces to ensure that in case china decides to go back on its words uh, we will not be taken by surprise meanwhile uh, the diplomatic channels are also open but as i said india is ready to face irrespective of which way china reacts all along and that's not just here in galwan but all along the 3500 km uh eastern border with uh, china swati right let's also go back to pranesh now officially what we know is that both sides are making these attempts to cool things down that's what we know through uh, you know the talks that have been held but if you go by the satellite images they speak a different story and then you have experts uh, giving their analysis on these pictures some believe that this very well could be a part of the process which will take a lot of time which i you know which which i want to say is this engagement and then some believe this is additional deployment of men of machinery of artillery of uh, armored vehicles and weaponry from the chinese side now swati before i once again go back to the satellite pictures i would like to make this very clear that uh, you can't take china or trust china on face value because uh, china has had a treacherous past they say something and they do something else at the time you would remember the chinese foreign minister had indicated that how china is all for peace dialogue talks but what was happening in galwan was clear provocation and aggression by the pla troops and then the chinese ambassador here in new delhi said that uh, we are all for peace china wants peace with india that's to go that's the way to go about it and that's the way to take things forward but once again you had chinese mouthpieces and the propaganda machinery going over time to pedal anti india propaganda so that's a uh, oh, point number 1 now coming back to these uh, satellite images images this there have been multiple satellite uh, images that we've been showing to our viewers uh, over the last few days but uh, the most significant is perhaps this one now what you see here is the galwan river in spate very clearly visible and this is that uh, culvert and uh, many people believe that somewhere here is the petrol point 14 which is uh, uh, the epicenter of the dispute uh, if i can put it that way somewhere around here the white dot that you see somewhere around here is pp14 on this side is china on this side is india now this red line here is the claim line the structures here and you can see some uh, pink tentages according to some experts this is proof of the chinese build up that they have increased the build up uh, ever since the violent uh, standoff at the border on june 15th and what you see on this side are uh, smaller structures perhaps by indian troops the other assessment that has come forth is from uh, nitin gokhale who would have us believe that what you see are not chinese tents these are indian posts man by indian troops and this is our build up hmm. that we've been able to push china back right. and uh, like i said 
here somewhere around here hmm. the culvert is uh, pp14 swati right let's also go across to uh, maruf raza consulting editor joining us in the broadcast what is your take maruf on the satellite the latest satellite pictures because one faction of the experts believe that india uh, has been able to push back uh, the chinese troops and what we witness at this point in time is not a chinese deployment but uh, those are indian tents those are tents that belong to the indian soldiers uh, and deployment on our side and the other faction believes that the build up on the chinese side continues You see, uh, I said so yesterday, and I'm repeating some of the points today. That firstly, what is the source of this information, and has it been authenticated formally by uh, government agencies? If so, if they can get such information now, whether from private satellites, and I believe governmental and. American satellite imagery, imagery, which will be available to us quite easily, hmm. uh, if that imagery is official, then why wasn't this imagery good enough to set up alarm bells ringing hmm. both on the ground in Ladakh and in Delhi as to the size of the build-up that was taking place? Because the size of the build-up. Is not something that you can turn your head away from and say, "Oh, it's just another company that's coming out there." Hmm. When you talk of a division worth of troops, let me give you the context. In the Kargil conflict, we used two divisions to evict what was two brigades plus from Pakistani side. So China is now building up equivalent to a division there, and I still believe. that they are not going to push back so easily without extracting some other concessions from us hmm. what were the measures that we were taking step by step to be able to respond to the build up there because i would be pretty certain in my experience with the armed forces and all our establishment that when a build up takes place it sets alarm bells running whether across the loc or across the lac and that build up is quickly matched by enhancing the defensive postures hmm. and defensive postures were being enhanced in the particularly in the aftermath of 15 16 june but what before that was our reaction i think one needs to look at it comprehensively hmm. and then come to the conclusion that the government and the armed forces took the build up seriously hmm. and therefore they responded and therefore these of course all that is accurate and should be taken seriously hmm. now the second and important point which we need to understand is the withdrawal that was these claims that they have done and we seen that the withdrawal has taken place hmm. Do we have a second source to verify that with all other than one set of satellite pictures? Right. Because right. satellite pictures don't come in isolation. Hmm. There are two, three sources, and there are more than a thousand American satellites around the world which are taking constant pictures. Absolutely, so absolutely. You know, a confirmation on that would come only when we have some clarity from the government.